What's good, my family? In this video, we're going to focus on how to find missing angles of triangles. I'm going to show you helpful tips to make this an easy process. When we have a problem like this, family, it's a little bit different because we don't have exact measures of the angles, meaning I couldn't just add these two, then subtract it from 180 to find the third side. So in a problem like this, we already know they gave us what angle A is. Oops, forgot my A and they gave us what angle B is. So what we're looking for is angle C, and this right here is the most important piece of information. This is our tip. So it says line AB and line AC are congruent, right? And what we understand about this is that two sides of this triangle are the same, meaning it's an isosceles triangle. And if we remember those rules, right, for the isosceles triangle, we know that what? the angles that are opposite of the congruent side are going to be equal. So when I look at this side right here, or angle I should say, we know that it's going to be the same as this other angle, x plus 20. Now sometimes, in this problem, it's probably easier for us to determine that. But let's say they gave us a triangle like this. And all they told us was that this is 2 meters, this is 2 meters, and this is 3 meters. This is another way for us to use those clues. So again, these two sides are congruent and the angles opposite of that side are congruent. So this is why it's important to understand the rules. Now that we got that down, we have to create an equation. And we should know that all, ang all triangles, their interior angles measure to 180 degrees. So when I set up my equation, 3x plus x plus 20 plus x plus 20 again is equal to 180. And now we're just going to solve like a regular equation and find out what is x. So I combine my like terms to get 5x plus 40 is equal to 180. So we're trying to get x by itself. So we're going to subtract 40 from both sides. I'll have 5x is equal to 140. Now, when I divide by 5 to get x by itself, I know x is equal to 28, right? Now, the reason why students will sometimes get this wrong, this is the second tip, right? First tip was understanding the, this, um, what this statement said. The second tip now is understanding what are they asking us. So a lot of students will come in now and plug in 28 for x and they'll say okay the angle is 48 degrees and they'll come and say hey d is the correct answer which would be right if they asked us for the angle but what they asked us for was just the value of x so our correct answer would be c and if we want to double check that this is correct we could just plug it back in right we know we have 48 for this angle c plus 48 for angle B. And then when I do three times 28, this is gonna give me 84. And when I add all these sides up together, it will equal to 180 degrees. So I know my answer is correct. Really hope this quick video on finding the missing angle of isosceles triangles was helpful for you, math family. If it was, smash the like button for us, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments down below for future videos you'd like to see on our channel, or if you had a question from today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining Algebra 1 with Mr. Peters.